I'm falling in love. I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one Early morning in the dawn, now you wanna ride now I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one, yeah Yeah, you sick of all these other reality haters Don't let the only real one to me taste ya See you watching down right now to time Alright y'all, so now you want to have put on your mascara, lashes if you want to, whatever you want to do. All I did was put on mascara and I just used my favorite mascara which is this one right here, which is Maybelline New York, the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This mascara does give the look of Falsies, um, more of a natural Falsies of course. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the fun part. Okay. To go ahead and give it a start, we're going to just use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of concealer to get our eyes right. So we're going to get started, we're going to kind of start with the base color. So in this palette, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with Clay. It is a very nude neutral color. This one right here. So once you have that on, which you're not really going to see a difference because we did have that concealer on, it's pretty much the same shade, we're going to go ahead and start having a little bit of fun playing with our transition colors. So we're going to play a little bit with dark. We're going to kind of go for a royalty look. I'm all about royalty. You guys know I go by the queen all the time, so we're going to play with royalty. So I'm going to go ahead and take this royal color right here. It's called royal. It's a really pretty purple color, and we're going to start by using this as our transition shade. So we're going to start applying our glitter and for our glitter we're going to go in with some gold because we are doing royalty. So I'm going to kind of play between two different golds because I'm not quite sure which one I want to start or what to end up using. We're going to play with this one down here and this one up here. Now we're going to play with this. So you're going to want to spray your brush and once again I'm just using that refresh I always use. I use it on my face and it's just really good for stuff like this to freshen.
So what we're going to go ahead and do now is go ahead back into that beautiful glamour palette and we're going to go back into that same royal shade and we're going to help with the transition a little bit more. I'm going to take this shade right here. So moving forward, take y'all out a little bit, just a little bit of that zoom out. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a brow highlight. And I'm just going to go right back into this um, brow, flawless brows. I'm going to use the highlight up here. I don't do that all the time, um, but I do want to do that today. Okay, once you're happy, add a little bit more highlight if you want to, a little less, however much you want to do. And now we're going to go ahead and take a break off the eyes, because the eyes are pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and get into like foundation. Since it's your prom or a special occasion, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit something different than I normal every day. So we're going to make sure our skin glows a little bit extra for those pictures and all that great jazz. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of an illuminator with my foundation. Alright, so now that the foundation is on, all I'm going to do is just take my powder that I always put on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and for a quick little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of baking with my translucent powder under my eyes. So now for our lips, I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. Nothing major because I don't really feel like dealing with anything major. Don't want to have a lot of stuff in the bag to carry. Okay, so I'm going to use a base lipstick So I just put on. And this is Subtly You by Mary Kay. It's just a very light nude color. So now that that is done, I'm going to go in with glosses, my favorite part. So for our main gloss, I'm going to be using this one right here, which is my favorite gloss from Mary Kay. Sefule. That okay, which means coffee with milk. So I'm gonna take that as our main color, 
It's a really light nude kind of color. But don't think we're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Lip Lava. This is in Lava Flow, my favorite one. As I say, some people don't want color. Some people want to put like on a red or a really pretty nude lippy. I'm a gloss girl, so I kind of stick around with that. Last little bit of stuff we're gonna do is just normal blush, um, highlighter, bronzer, all that stuff. So we're gonna start off with blush, and for my blush, I like to use Shy Blush by Mary Kay. We're also going to play around with this product and it's called Mary Kay Glowing Finish Illuminating Stick. So basically it's pretty much what we used earlier but it's in a stick form. You can see it right here. It's really, 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 really pretty. So we're going to use that today, okay? Catch your highlight. Catch you. <laughs> but we ain't done because y'all know it's the extra. So we're going to go in with more highlighter, just a little bit. And this is just Apricot Glow by L. I like to look like I'm with Sun Kiss, okay? So when I like to look Sun Kiss, I go with, with my Sun Kiss Bronzer by L, which is right here. The last thing you have to do is just spray on some finishing spray, which mine is right here. Don't know if you got a girl. 